Right away. What about Facebook? Yeah, we're on. There's your first. Is it broken? We will get
You can hear us now. I just had the microphone on mute though. Because again, Reddit. Microphone's on. Shoes are off. Good afternoon. I'm take my socks off as well. Got warm actually. When the sun comes out. Good afternoon. What's the day's date? It's the 15th. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Joshua Ball. This is Hannah Looms. She's going to say hey because she never talks. <laughs> Today is the 15th. 15th of April. Today I'm going to do a generic warm-up with you guys. We're going to do some stomach work. And then I'm going to explain some aerials and some exercises that you can do to help your aerials get better. But I won't be teaching you an aerial because I'm not allowed to teach your skills. <laughs> are we ready? Are you ready, Hannah? Yeah, we are. Are you ready? Jogging on the spot. You guys get ready to join in. All you need to do is put your phone up somewhere so you can see me. We're working on aerials, a bit of stomach conditioning. We'll be all good. And then me and Hannah are going to play on the air track and get round our backhands from back to up. There we are. <laughs> okay, 10 squats. So out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm jogging again. Might go and put some shorts on. Keep it warm. Yeah. It's, it's very hot <laughs> out here. <laughs> okay, 10 star jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to go arms forwards. Big circles with our arms. And arms backwards. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> and then side to side, do your back stretch. If you like me, mine will crack. Does yours crack hand off? A little bit. Uh, shut that door. I'd love to. Okay, and then we're going to lean over. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, come on, straight and sink. <laughs> 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, and then straddle. So we're gonna reach down. We're gonna go two in front, one, two, then over to our right, one, two. Over to our left, one, two, in the middle. One, two, to our right, one, two, to our left, one, two, forward. To the right, to the left. Forward, to the right, to the left, in the middle. Okay, then turn your hands around. Uh, walk your hands as far as you can through your legs. As far, forward, far back as you can go, stretch the legs out. And then lunge to the right, like Spider-Man. Keep your chest up, stretch out your leg. Do a quick warm-up today. Mm -hmm. And to Just the left. Quite quick. Huh? Just feel that we're going speedy. We are. Got a lot of information to get out. Out of my head. For those people that are behind that computer screen. <laughs> okay, our feet together. Arms up nice and tall. And then you're going to go ten times, all the way down to your toes, back up. Three, four, faster, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then lie down on the floor for me. From this position, lift up nice and tall. Stretch out your back. Sway side to side. I like this stretch. This is my fave. Stretch your back out. Yeah. And then you're going to lunge back. So stretching your shoulders out onto your fingertips. Warm up to the sky. And back forwards. Now try and get your toes to touch the back of your head. Can you touch the back of your head still? Not today. <laughs> Might be able to make I feel so close, but I'm so far. You are really far. You're like a good cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> and lean back again. Onto your fingertips. Ooh. And lean back forwards. Stretch out that back. Sway side to side. Okay, and then on your knees, I want you to stretch out your wrists. So put your hands flat on the floor and just walk your hands around for 30, 20, 30 seconds. Just so you stretch all the angles of your wrist. Ooh. Ooh. Right, the stretching bridge because I need to get a better bridge. Okay, what well, we're doing 30 seconds in bridge on this class. Are we ready? Three. No. Two. Three. One, go. 50, no, we did 30 seconds, didn't we? Yeah, 35. No, no, it's 20. 20, 18, 17, 16, 50. 10, 5, 2, one and in the top shape, and rock forwards and backwards. Today's the day I'm going to do a back walk over because that felt good. That felt good. I feel flexible today. My ankle still hurts. Still rocking forwards and backwards. Okay. Some stomach work. If you need a drink, grab yourself a drink. Now we're going to do some core conditioning. Let's have a look in the group. Who, who we got? Beth's here and excited. Hey, Beth. Hey, Evie. Oh, and Naya and Krishangi. And we got 16 on Facebook. Jeez. You want to short? Thank you, Doki. Hi, Marie Claire and Ellie Rose. Facebookers, if it doesn't look very good, then get onto the YouTube because that one's got a wider screen. I think Facebook's really not right. It's frozen on my phone, but hopefully it's working for you guys. Is he back? I'm back. He's back and ready to do some work now. He's 
back Go and run it. They got out of the drama. As if like magic, I cut my trackers in half and changed the colour of them. Right, we're going to do how many exercises? Pick a number between five and seven. 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 Seven different exercises to work our stomach muscles. Okay, you guys follow along. You're going to hear my voice that I'm sick of. Are we ready? Yeah, what are we doing? First, V sits first. So if everybody lies down on the floor. First exercise is a V sit. So you're trying to touch your toes at the highest point you possibly could. So your arms are going to stay by your ears. You're going to do just 10. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to struggle doing 10. So from here, try and touch your toes at the tallest point and then back down slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, seven. Come on, keep going. Well, I finished earlier. I get to rest a lot. Ah! Come on. No. Okay, second exercise. I want you to go into a dish shape. So you're going to lift your feet up and your shoulders up. And then I want you to try and touch your heels. So you bring it in, touch the back of your heels. 20 times. Four. Five. Go as fast as you can if you want to. Nine. Eight. Nine. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, next one. Thirty seconds in a plank position. Three, two, one. Go. Twenty-nine, twenty-eight, twenty-seven, twenty-six, twenty-five, twenty-four, twenty-three, twenty-two. 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 30, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And oh, back yeah. onto your stomach. You pick seven exercises. How many is that? Three. Next exercise, just full sit-ups. So leaning all the way back, bend your legs slightly, hands on your head. If you want to make it a little bit harder, reach your arms up nice and tall. You're going to go 10 sit-ups full. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, and a little rest. How is that? Four exercises. Ten, yeah. I'm trying to make me think on top of my head. I do leg raises. Huh? Leg raises. I got plenty. I got plenty of exercises in here. Yeah. Right. Okay. Have a little rest. Got thirty seconds. Stretch it out the other way. Then stretch it out. These next four are the hardest ab exercises that I know. Perfect. <laughs> it's just what we all wanted. <laughs> Right, you ready? Onto your stomach again. No, onto your back. Flip onto your back. Okay, two exercises. The first one, you're going to be in dish shape. You're going to swap your legs up and down, up and down. Second exercise is you're going to be kicking. So dish shape, kicking. We're going to do 20 seconds on each one. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Side to side. 25. No, you said 20 seconds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 12, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Next one, kicks. You ready? 20 yeah. seconds. 3, 2, 1, go. I keep kicking my legs. 15. 12, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah. Ah. Next one, 20 mountain this climbers. One, isn't it? Got two more. Why? Two more. Oh. No, seven. Yeah, one more. Okay. Are we ready? Mountain Eight. climbers. So we're going to go into a presser position or front support position. From here. 
your knees are going to go all the way up and back down. So you're like climbing a mountain. You're going to do 50. That one counts. As your knee comes up, that counts as well. Go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> ah, relax. Keep going, keep going. As fast as you can. Go as fast as you can for five seconds. Ah. I finished. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Moving forwards. If you need a drink, grab a drink, me and Hannah do. It's nice and warm today. How's oh. Facebook getting on? Let me just double check. <sighs> All right. Who else we got here? <laughs> From Karen Loom's Dance Academy. Right, guys, this next bit, I'm going to talk a little bit into depth of. So it, it, oh. we're doing no-handed cartwheel, what an aerial is. Okay, so if you guys can do a cartwheel, then as soon as you did a good cartwheel, you probably thought, maybe I could do that with one hand. And then you tried it with one hand, and then you thought, maybe I could do that with no hands. But then you get a little bit stuck into that cycle of you're always trying to do an aerial, and every time you do it, you're just putting your hands down. A lot of kids that I teach, it gets in your head, and all you're doing is putting your hands down, putting your hands down, and you start to get stressed about it. Okay. The main reason you can't do that aerial is because you need to prepare your body to be able to do it. So I'm going to show you three exercises that you guys, if you want to be able to do an aerial, you should be doing three to four times a week, even five times, as many as you can, but don't overtrain because you'll just put yourself back down to where you started. So two, three times a week is probably the, the best that you could do it, would At you least. say? Yeah. At least. There's three exercises that I'm going to show you. Me and Hannah are both going to do them. Okay, you guys can watch along. If you're following along, follow along at the same time. Okay? Your first, the first exercise is with an aerial, or even, even if you can't even cartwheel yet, you can still do these exercises. Okay? It'll make your cartwheel better, it'll make one-handed cartwheels better, it'll make no-handed cartwheels better. Okay? The first exercise, we're going to work on getting the height in your cartwheel. So to be able to do a no-handed no cartwheel, if you put your arms up like this, put your hands up like that, Hannah. That space that's between your head and your hands, you still need to jump, that, that gap, okay? Some people could do an aerial because they're flexible and they don't even need to jump. But if you're like me, I'm not that flexible. Would you say you're flexible? Not as flexible as we could be. <laughs> no, nope. I'm, strong, I'm, I'm stronger than I am flexible, okay? So I rely on the, the height and jumping myself up. So the first exercise is gonna focus on that jump in your front leg, okay? So all I want you to do for the first exercise, we're going to go 15 times. You're going to start, so imagine the same start position as a cartwheel, arms up. What you're going to do from this position is you're going to reach your arms forwards. I want you to bend this leg, okay? And you're going to go 10 times, just straightening it up. So from here, bend down, up. Try and keep your balance. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Keep going, now. So yeah, try and keep your leg. So if you can, eventually, you want to be doing almost like a one-legged squat like this. And then bend, and up, bend, up, bend, up. Okay? So there? Yeah, and do your other leg as well. Yeah, other leg. Just because it's your weak leg doesn't mean that you shouldn't train it. You should be weak there twice as many times. Exactly. So from here, arms up, your chest comes forward, lift your leg, squat, back up. Down, squat, back up. Okay, it's hard to keep your balance, but you'll already find it working your leg. It's probably working muscles that you've never even used. Because it's not like walking, it's not like a squat. It's every little muscle in your leg is trying to keep you balanced. It's a bit harder for me and Hannah because we're on a slant. Just a little bit. From there, down, and up. Okay. Here you go. Okay, to make this first exercise a little bit harder, if you guys are looking at that exercise going, well, that's quite easy. You're gonna make it a little bit harder. You're gonna put a swing with your arms in. So as you're coming forwards now, you're gonna swing your arms down. Your back leg's gonna lift higher. And I want you to try and jump. So you're gonna jump from your leg 
Even your toes are going to push. Perfect. Yeah, try again. And up. Good. Let's do 10. Feed your upper body up or down. You want your chest up. So you come down, but your chest stays up. Jump. 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 Try and get as nice and high as you can, but make sure you're swinging those, your arms are swinging down as your leg straightens up. Okay, do it slow. It doesn't need to be fast. You don't need to jump if you don't want to. From there, arms come down, leg comes up. Leg comes up. Leg comes up. Okay, it's all about breaking down that skill into elements. Of what you need to get stronger, why you can't do it. What's preventing you from being able to do the gymnastic skill that you want to do? Ooh. It's hard work, isn't it? it? Hard work. You don't think it's hard work, but it is hard work. <laughs> Five more. Come on, you got it. When you're so as your leg, when your leg, when you're here, What's the you got, it's all about it's like rhythm. Okay, you're a dancer, you should have like rhythm. I do. So as you're here, your front leg bends, your chest slightly comes down. As you're about, as your chest comes over your knee, that's where you're going to straighten your leg and swing your arm down. From there, and down. Okay? Keep trying it. That's what China doing it. There. Yeah. That's fine. Five. Right. Okay. Exercise two is focusing on your back leg of your aerial. Okay. So you've got your front leg. Your front leg of your aerial is going to push you up. Your back leg is your kick, and that's your momentum and your driving force to cause you to rotate, get back around to your feet. Okay. That's not just going to get better on its own. You need to train that. Okay. So imagine you're doing a handstand. We're going to train the kick of our back leg. So you're going to put your hands down on the floor with one leg up. I'm going to do my other leg. This way, nice pointed toes. You're going to touch the ground and up as fast as you can. That, that motion there needs to be fast. Okay? You can put a bit of a bend in your knee as well if you want. So from here you go push. Up. 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 Okay, 10 on each leg, and then swap to swap leg. Now 10. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. We're going to do that one again. Okay, have a little rest, then we'll do that one, that one again. Water. So imagine you're doing handstand, reach forwards, point that toe, up. Oh. They look good. Yeah. Ten. Your turn. Very good. Woo. These are simple movements, basic movements, but they work you out so much more than you think. This leg hurts. <laughs> it's flexibility, you're getting it. You're trying, keep going, keep your leg straight. Kick that leg. What I say to people, imagine someone behind you That's okay. So imagine someone's behind you, or there's a watermelon behind you, and you're trying to smash that watermelon with your heel. Okay, it needs to be fast. If it's slow, you won't get around. You'll always put your hands down. You'll always stop yourself from doing a full aerial. Got no water left. <laughs> right, the third exercise and our last exercise. Strangely enough, put both of those exercises together. Okay, so. I'll do it slow first so you guys can see, and then me and Hannah together, we'll do 10, 10 each, okay? Just to recap, you've got your first exercise, which is working your front leg, which was this one, bending down, up straight, bending down, up straight, okay? Your second exercise was working your back leg, so you're kicking all the way up as fast as you can. I can't point my toe very nice because I've hurt my ankle. 
Hannah's been taking the mick out of me all week. Your third exercise. I'm, trying to get, I'm doing stuff. <laughs> Your third exercise. Slow it down first. Okay, try to understand the movement before you start doing it fast, before you, you, you're better off to be able to understand the movement and how your body works than you are to be able to just chuck it, okay? So all together, you're gonna jump and kick, okay? Just be careful if you put your hands up in the air and you can touch your ceiling or you can touch a light shade, move out the way of it, okay? But we're gonna go from this position, starting arms up, okay? What I want you to picture is imagine you've just ran and you've gone to your cartwheel. Okay, but now instead of just a cartwheel, you're going to be explosive, you're going to be fast. Okay, so from here, arms up, you're going to reach. That's the most important thing. See when Hannah does it, so she bends her front leg. That's your most important point. Bend in that front leg, keep this chest up. As you swing your arms down, I want you to launch your leg up. You're trying to jump off the tallest couch, just like Hannah did. So from here, bend, launch, and kick. Okay, and try and land back on the leg that you've jumped off. Okay, Hannah will do 10, then I'll do 10. I always forget the motion of it, I'll huh? lost it again. Yeah, like... So when you guys and Hannah are in this position, I want you to lunge forward so your chest comes over your knee, and then from here, that's your jump and your explosion. Okay, there you go. Okay, so break it down, if you need to, you can pause this video, you can re rewind it, you can re-watch the same movement over and over again. But kick this leg, kick it harder. I'm trying. Yeah, okay, and a bit later. So you'll, if you've jumped and you're at the top of your jump and your leg's not kicked yet, you're just gonna be falling back down and your leg's not gonna be kicking. Okay, so you've gotta work it all together. From here, as your arms, as you reach forward, your chest comes over your knee. As your front straightens, that's when your arms are coming down and your legs are kicking up. Okay, so from here, forward, kicks. jump, kick. There, boom, boom. I think you're going to get it before boom. me. Boom, boom. Ah. Yeah? Okay. Go. See? Hard work, isn't it? It is, it's ever so hot. Huh? It's so warm. <laughs> I'm going to do three more. Three more, just so if you guys want to click on this video, you want to rewind it. Promise, I promise you guys, if you did those three, three exercises, the one focusing on your front leg and the one focusing on your kick in your back leg, and then joining them together as your third exercise, if you made it in, that into a little routine, so say you did 30 seconds of the first exercise, have a little rest. 30 seconds of the other exercise, have a little rest. 30 seconds of the third exercise, if you did that for the next, if you did that every single other day until you guys get back into your gymnastics center until lockdown's over, you will walk into a gymnastics center, you will see a bouncy floor, you, you would have trained your brain to understand how you should be doing that movement. When you walk into that gym, you'll be like, I feel better than I, than I did when I trained gymnastics six months ago, okay? It's all about preparing your body for those movements. It's not, it doesn't just happen overnight, okay? You've got to spend, you've got to spend these hours where you're, you're just training one part of your body to get stronger, yeah? So from there, jump. Whoa. Do you think these jumps would probably help with roll creepers as well? Why? It's pushing up your legs, isn't it? It's yeah. all pushing up your legs. Yeah, true. I'm going to try and walk over. You are. So. They're my three exercises for you. You guys have got a nice core warm up to do. A little stretch at the start. I did a really quick stretch today so we could get straight into it. So we're going to do some split stretches in a second to cool down. Okay. I'm going to try my back as walk over now. And then I'm going to finish this live stream after we've stretched our splits. We challenged each other to the splits and an area we have. Woo! Today's the day. What would be positivity every time? <laughs> oh, go on, go on, push hard. You didn't like you push it hard. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting there. It's getting there. Right, you guys, just to finish off this class, onto your knees for me with your right leg forwards. 
Keep this front leg straight and slide your hands all the way down to the bottom as far as you can. Try and get your nose onto your knee. Hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then lunge forwards. So now your back leg should stay straight. And hold. Keep stretching it. You should feel it in your quadricep on your back leg. Where's your quadricep? It's there. That's good because <laughs> that's where I can feel it. <laughs> Okay, and then put your other leg in front, slide down as far to split as you can. You're getting better than that Because I'll practice. Stretch it out, 10 seconds. And swap legs, same little routine. Whoa. So I... I started really training my splits like how far? Probably about three years ago. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where I'd make sure that every single time I did a coaching session, I'd do the, the splits. So when you guys see us at the end of this, just doing splits for. Okay. You still need to be doing it more. I do just a couple of seconds for the sake of the live stream. But you need to be stretching it every single day. If you want to be able to get flat on the floor, it takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication. You don't just. Just wake up and go, a strange split for 10 seconds yesterday. I can do it today. You gotta keep doing it. Okay? Lunge your forwards, back leg straight. Try to lift your knee off the ground and push your hips into the ground. This is just a good little routine to always stretch your splits out. Do it before you start training gymnastics in your garden. Do it before you. And do it again at the yeah. end. Just do it. Do it lots. Okay, and then slide down as far as you can. So this is my bad leg split. Me too. But probably mm-hmm. eight months ago, I was more like, this is my bad leg split. Okay, but just because it's my bad leg split doesn't mean I don't stop training it. It just means that I have to train it more. If you were weak on one arm, you'd train that weak arm, wouldn't you? Same goes with flexibility. Yes. Lovely. Right. That's the end of the live stream of the 15th of April, because yep. I remembered it. There you got this, I've got those three three exercises to help with your aerial. Core exercises at the start, you had, I think we did seven, I think we did six. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Yeah? What for? Do you want a prize? What prize? The usual. My usual. I'll just see what they got. Okay. Right, you guys. Anna's just said maybe we should do a challenge today. We've not, not done one this week. Okay, so my challenge to you guys that are watching now, who can hold the handstand for the longest? Okay, you're not allowed to walk. Actually, you're allowed three steps in your handstand. Okay, for as long as that you can do it for. Okay, you guys send me your entries onto the Facebook page. If you're not following us on Facebook yet, head over to it. The link's in the description at the bottom. I want to see how long you can hold a handstand for. You're allowed a maximum of three steps, okay? If you hold it for the longest and you're the winner of this challenge, you're going to get some handstand bars from me, the parallettes. If, you can't, if you've seen the parallettes before, check them out on the website or again. You've already got some because you've already got some. Yeah, or if you've already won, you can have, I'll give you another prize. There we go. Are you ready? Here's our longest with three steps. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> That went too far, right? I've done four, five, six, seven steps. Just ran out of steps. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching, guys. See you next time. Say bye. Goodbye. <laughs>